Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a massive fall clothing haul for you guys. I have a lot of clothes that I picked up for Lucy from H&M, Zara, uh, a few stuff from Old Navy, and a lot of like Halloween stuff, so I'm super excited to share that with you guys today. It's going to be a pretty long haul, so brace yourselves. Um, I did ask over on Instagram whether you guys wanted me to split these up from like fall clothing to Halloween, two separate videos, and you, most of you guys requested a full video, so I am pretty certain it's going to be a massive video. Okay, so this is pretty much um, going to be like more of a collective haul because I did make multiple orders when buying all of these things. Um, I'm going to start off with H&M. As you guys may know, I love shopping for Lucy at H&M. They have so many beautiful pieces, especially online. I can never find half of these pieces in store and with COVID going on and everything, we hardly go shopping in person anyway. So yeah, I love online shopping at H&M and I picked up quite a few pieces. So a lot of these, like I said in the intro, are going to, everything's gonna be like for fall. So fall slash winter. And she definitely needed pieces for, you know, colder weather. So first item is these two tops. They're long sleeves and they're ribbed and they came in a pack. Um, this one is a pretty cream with some precious little hearts on it with little faces and then it came with this um, It's more of a brownie uh, Top with black polka dots and I really like how it has the little like hemmed edges I'm not sure what this is even considered or called but super cute I was a little disappointed that they didn't have like the matching bottoms since I'm a sucker for matching pieces but I figured these would go great with leggings next was this precious sweatshirt with this Peter Pan collar um, I keep Lucy in mostly neutrals but she does have a lot of pop of colors here and there and I thought this red sweater with this white Peter Pan collar and there's um, little flowers on it so they look like roses so a little floral Peter Pan collar I think this is gonna be so precious to see her in um, this next set I got um, leggings so it came with you know uh, matching tops and bottoms that are sold separately and I purchased them so the first one were the leggings um, it's a like brownish nude um, bottoms and black polka dots and this set came with black ribbed ones it's kind of like a charcoal black in a way it's not like pitch black um, but yeah these two came together and then I purchased the matching tops and it came with the black ribbed and the polka dot one these are super cute and I actually like that some of H&M's tops have the button options for you know pulling over the head because some um, neck lining are super tight on the baby's head and I know we have trouble sometimes with Lucy and she gets really frustrated when we're, when we're trying to like put it over her head so these little buttons make it so much easier this next piece is probably one of my top favorite items that I got for Lucy um, she needed a nice warm jacket and when I spotted this online I was obsessed <laughs> Like, come on. <laughs> I don't know if, I think these are bunny ears or it's meant to be like a bunny ear, but it's a precious cream. So cozy and so like well made. And the inside is kind of like a blush um, brown in a way. I think this is gonna look so precious on her and I cannot wait to see her in this. Another set, so these are long sleeve onesies. Uh, these two came together. I own, well, Lucy owns a lot of uh, clothing like this, like in these colors and styles, like this ribbed one with this little like scallop edges. I know I've shared a few of them on my channel before. She wears these a lot and these came with the matching bottoms. I even got another set that I will show you right now. Uh, or is it right here? See these two match sucker for matching sets and I also got these these are the bottoms and it comes with so these ones came with onesies and I like that this was different we don't own many onesies that are long sleeves like this style and this one they had matching tops that were just like long sleeve t-shirts 
But for some reason, H&M refunded me for that saying that it was out of stock. And when I went to go check, they had them in stock. So I had to order it again and it's coming in the mail. So I decided to just move forward and film this video for you guys before it even arrived. So I did order the matching tops for those leggings. Almost done with H&M. Um, I didn't want to take this out. It comes with five onesies. They're all long sleeves. Um, let me take out one at least. Uh, we can really, we make really good use out of long sleeve onesies here, obviously for winter time when it's a lot colder. And yeah, this one was just so nice because it came in a five pack and I really like the prints. Most, uh, three out of them were polka dots, one brown and a plain white. So these are going to be really nice to have once it starts to cool down here. I got Lucy um, a sweater cardigan. I'm not sure what you would call it. In this a precious like brown shade. It is so soft, you guys. Like, oh my goodness, I wish you guys could feel this. But it's so pretty and I loved the fact that it had like this little detail on it and it even goes around the back too. I can't imagine seeing her in these pieces. Like, oh my goodness, H&M has such precious clothing. So if you guys are looking for some pretty cute girl clothing, check out H&M for sure. Last from H&M, I picked up these tights for Lucy. Last winter, we purchased a few of them and some of them were footed, some of them were not footed. And I love just tossing these on Lucy with like a big chunky sweater and she was just super cozy. And I mean, for a baby, I would love dressing her in like nice lounge wear especially if it is nice and cozy and it's like cold weather so these are so precious and this one has like a little rainbow detail i don't know if you guys will be able to see that but it's very neutral i love neutrals so another thing i'm really excited to see her in next i'm moving on to zara i've never bought anything for lucy from zara while i was pregnant i remember wanting to go there so many times but since we were in the middle of the pandemic I opted not to go to the store and for some reason during that period it was so difficult for me to find things online. Not this time though, I found so many pieces. I'm obsessed with Zara now and my favorite things from them so far that I purchased for Lucy are sweaters. I purchased about a total of four sweaters for her and a few leggings. Love those two. So first sweater is this pink, pink or blush sweater. Um, I don't know how exactly it's gonna fit her. I got this size in six to nine months. I heard that they run a little bit oversized, so I figured if she can get use out of it sometime soon and outgrows it, that's fine, because I did get bigger sizes as well. So the first one that I got is this blush one. Then I got this one that is more of a peachy blush shade. And how precious is this? I was totally obsessed with the fact that this has a, like a little collar and it has a button in the front and the little girl that was wearing this online looked so adorable. I could totally see Lucy wearing something like this because last winter she had a pink sweater similar to this that said babe on it was my favorite thing to put her in. Nice and cozy and inside is very warm so she's going to be super cozy in this. Next is this disney sweater like how cute is this we don't buy her too many pieces with like um characters on it i don't know why i like more neutrals but when i saw this color i just had to and lucy's really obsessed with mickey at the moment <laughs> so this is going to be so cute on her i feel like it's definitely going to be more of an oversized fit this is 9 to 12 months and it looks ginormous but maybe it's just because my baby is tiny but i'm so excited for this one and the last sweater that i got her was a customized one a uh, zara has that option of personalizing your pieces and i just got this one embroidered moon on it which is lucy's middle name if you didn't know and this one is in the size 9 to 12 months so this also looks pretty damn large she's definitely going to be able to wear this come like january february where we hit the coldest here in the bay area 
so precious and I just love these colors Zara has wonderful neutral colors to choose from now I'm going to jump into some leggings that I picked up for her this one is more of a brownish pink shade and it's ribbed and it's a little like flared in the bottom I don't know what this style would be considered but and it has like the, this little string it's a faux string but I feel like these are going to fit good. Lucy is very small waisted, so I have issues buying her leggings. Like a lot of bottoms don't fit her at the waist because they're just so wide and she has a small waist. So these look like they're going to be nice and fitted. So I'm excited for these along with all these things that I'm just saying. <laughs> Next leggings are these uh, pink ones. Again, ribbed and then I think these are like exactly the same but different colors and I got different sizes I got a cream shade and even in cream like the same style I got the t-shirt so those are matching I got these leggings I am really loving these leggings they feel super great it's like a ribbed but a different kind of ribbed material but it's just a cream and a orange shade so it's kind of like it reminds me of fall and pumpkins <laughs> um super cute two more leggings this one that is a thermal this is a very bubblegum pink not typically the colors i go for but nonetheless excited to see how this looks on her and it has a little faux string super cute super cozy and the last leggings from Zara, I got these from the boys section and I am obsessed. This is probably like my, my favorite leggings thus far. And it's also thermal, but it's just the most softest material, like super stretchy. It reminds me of stockings actually, now that I'm thinking about it, but it's this nice brown shade. So again, super neutral. And the fact that I like a lot of neutrals is that I can mix and match them with just about anything. I still have a few more Zara pieces. I have two long sleeve shirts, this nice brown one, can never have enough long sleeves. And this one is kind of like a sweater shirt in a way. It's not very thick, but it's a little bit more on the thinner side. And it is just a long sleeve shirt in a very pretty mauveish shade. And next is two beanies. Lucy last winter had beanies and I'm pretty sure they're going to be too small for her so when I saw these on Zara I just had to pick them up. They're exactly the same, different shades and has little bear ears on top. She's already worn this one so there's no tags on it but they are so cute and I cannot wait to put these on her and just mix and match. So precious. Okay, I think I'm about halfway done with this haul. So now I'm going to be moving on to Halloween things. I don't know about you guys, but we are super excited for Halloween here. And I started purchasing a few pieces. So, so far I had picked up bows for Lucy. I just had to get her, you know, Halloween themed bows. And this one I got off of Etsy. It's from the shop, The Wild Bow K. So precious. I'm gonna have to show you guys close up, but I just went with two different styles. I think it'll be fine. I don't like to get too many like holiday themed pieces because then once the holiday is over, I don't see myself putting it on her much. But these are so precious. This one's just white with bats and it has kind of like a rainbow effect. Pumpkin, ghosts, witches hats. The other one is just pink with a ghost and bats and it just says boo. These are super cute and I love bows like this. It has like the nylon headband on her. They fit great and it stretches with her head if needed and they just fit super comfortable on her and she does not fight me to put these on. She leaves them on so great. Just wanted to show a little close up of the bows. Next thing is this Halloween garland. I got this from uh, the Glitter Party Co. on Etsy. We purchased, I think we already own three other garlands from this company. I could, yeah, I'm pretty sure they're all from the, I'm looking at the bookcase because, or her bookshelves because I currently have one there. And that's what I love these for is um, putting it over top of her bookshelf. And we needed a Halloween one. So I was so excited to finally pick up this Halloween one because this one I had been eyeing for months. I love the color of the felt balls and then there are bats and ghosts. 
so I will I know eventually on Instagram I'm probably going to share this on the bookshelves along with Halloween books that she has oh it makes me so excited like changing up her bookshelves and going like according to themes and stuff but let me show you a close-up of this So now I'm going to jump into Halloween pajamas. As a kid, I loved having themed um, pajamas for like different holidays, especially like Christmas time. So I want to do that with Lucy. Last year, I don't think she even had a single Halloween piece. She was only like maybe two, three weeks old by the time Halloween rolled around. So this year, I definitely wanted to go all out with her. The first two are from Old Navy. I saw these online and I was so obsessed. The top and bottoms come together. They are a set and it's this orange one. Okay, how cute is this? The shirt has a cat dressed up as a ghost and a ghost is dressed up as a cat. <laughs> that is so cute to me. I don't know why it makes me laugh every time I look at it, but I just think the print is so adorable. And also from Old Navy, this one was my favorite. When I was gonna place the order online, unfortunately they were sold out of Lucy's size. And I wanted to make a mall trip to see if Old Navy did carry her size in store. And we were so lucky that we found it in store, the last piece too. So it is this pink one with a cat bat. And it just says, oh, wicked cute. And the bottoms again came together, they already set. And I'm so excited. I just hope that it cools down a bit more so she can actually wear these come October. Who am I kidding? I'm going to try to get her to wear these sometime this month. So let's just hope that they fit because I did get size 12 to 18 a month. These next two jammies are from Hannah Anderson. I've never purchased anything from this store before. I remember our, one of our malls here did carry it, but I never went into that shop. And online I saw that they had these really cute Halloween pajamas and I got two different styles so this one is kind of like a romper type since it's a zippy um, it's a zip up and it has the button and the zipper and it is footless we love getting footless pajamas for Lucy because as she grows she will not outgrow it really because it is footless so it's this ghost one just very nice and simple and then this pink cat one. This one was actually my favorite of the two. I just love pink and black, you know, for Halloween. So, so precious. And the last Halloween pajama is, I'm gonna say I love all these pieces because I truly do, but this is another favorite piece. I got this from the store. Oh shoot, I don't have the tag on it. Um, but I will try to link everything down below if I can find it, but this, I want to say on the tag it says Emerson and friends so let's just go with that and this is a very soft like nylon type of material it's super stretchy if you're familiar with um, kite baby pajamas it feels very very identical to that and these are um, footless but it does give you the option to make it footed by flipping over the bottoms over the feetsies and same thing goes for the hands um fold over the hands so i got i don't even know i got i think six to 12 months for lucy because of the weight range but if you were to have like a newborn those fold overs are going to be super convenient so excited to see her in these it looks freaking huge for six to 12 months though the next pieces i'm going to be talking about is from the clothing company called Ava Grace and Milo Co. I hope I said that all correctly. And uh, the company did a pre-order for Halloween t-shirts. I picked up a matching shirt for myself and Lucy. I couldn't help myself when I saw this print. And I believe it's called the, their Monster Match Mash. And I got it in this like golden shade. And it's so freaking cute. I love it. I got myself um, a large because I really wanted that oversized fit and I can so see myself and Lucy wearing these in either like black leggings or biker shorts So cute. I'm obsessed with this print. Oh my goodness So as I was purchasing that I could not pass up this Halloween banner It is the alphabet and it's all Halloween themed so it has 
A for alien, B for bat, C for cat. So cute. I'm still not 100% sure where I'm going to be hanging this. I think I might have a spot, but I have to check. But I, yeah, I just could not pass up this precious banner. And let me show you guys a close up. This was just too fun to pass up. <laughs> Almost done here. This is the last two things that I'm going to be talking about. It is still Halloween related and it is from the shop called, it's on Etsy, uh, Fancy Free Finery. And I am going to be talking more about this company in a future vlog. So keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> and they are these felt ghosts. I don't, I don't think you guys can see them. Let me take them out. But um, I guess last year she released these, but I, I don't think I was following her yet at the time. So then when I saw that she did a pre-order and I missed out, I was so bummed. And I was literally stalking her page until she did the next time the orders and they just sell out super quick luckily I got my hands on two of them and they're just these two precious ghosts one with a party hat and one holding a balloon I don't know what I'm gonna do with these at all but again these were just too cute to pass up and I think it's gonna be fun to have especially with Lucy growing up we are definitely going to be celebrating all holidays having her in our lives so it's going to be so much fun i really hope i didn't forget anything there was so much that i had to share um but i think i got everything thank you guys so much for joining us in today's video and i really hope you enjoyed seeing all the fun stuff i purchased for lucy i'm so excited for fall fashion and dressing this little one up dressing her up <laughs> dressing her up is one of our favorite things to do so again thank you guys so much for watching see you guys next time bye lucy say bye bye say bye bye to the camera <laughs> oh, bye <laughs>